congratulations. Thank you very much. Because Thanks. you've had six albums. This is the first one to get to number one. So yeah. you've been working hard. I've been working hard. But this is hard. terrific it's success a, for you. It's been an overnight success. Yeah. It's been a very long night. But would you swap <laughs> all the success you've had for this Compared picture to <laughs> of you with Brazilian legend Roberto Carlos clinking champagne bottles I didn't, after I was, we win. I, unlike you, I really wasn't aware of the sort of winning or losing thing. I mean, oh, yeah. it was really about winning. For the four days we were there, we were getting the chat. We were getting the Winning pre mentality. I, yeah, I, I, I practice what I preach. It's <laughs> I not did, about I, taking part. I don't have that. It, probably why it's taken me six hours. You certainly had it at the end. I had it on the night. <laughs> so I didn't realise how much I wanted it. That's yeah. what we want. And I was like, this is great. If you list all your achievements, singing with Kylie, supporting Dido. Playing with <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> writing, <laughs> writing with Bob. Bob Dylan. Yes, Which of these? Oh, you're what a gentleman! Oh, what a, oh thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, the old thank Italian you. charm <laughs> creeping out here. Yeah. Which of those achievements uh, um, has made you feel most proud? I don't know. I mean, I, I, the Bob Dylan moment must have been. Quite getting Bob Dylan and Kylie on the same record is something that I'm very proud of because mm -hmm. I've always. In this industry, everybody tries to put you in a box. It's just from the minute you show up, who are you, what are you, what's Which your sound? Which box do you feel you've been put in? Well, into? I think that's what we've managed to avoid. By having an album, by proving, right. sort of, by putting Kylie Minogue and Bob Dylan on the same album. And I hope that when you listen to the album, you don't go, there's the Kylie song and there's the Bob Dylan song, mm -hmm. that it kind of seamlessly makes sense. Yeah. It's not like there to sort of make any noise. I know when people say to you, it must be amazing to write with Bob Dylan, actually, you... I've never actually met him. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he knows that I exist. This is the reality <laughs> of the modern-day music industry, Which I'm it? totally fine with, as long as I get to walk away with a song with my Mate, name it's a bit like Bob your picture Dylan. Roberto Carlos. Exactly. <laughs> he's never heard of Jack Tavaretti, right? He doesn't you've care. got that, it's like he's your best mate. The ladies like you, Jack. It can't be ignored. You are appealing to women, and, you know, across the world. You scared me when you said you have a reputation. I, yeah. don't know go I mean, this is the I most can live with that. gentlemanly, honourable way. I but you do, I mean, how do you deal with the the female fan base? Uh, we have a pretty balanced female and male fan base, if mm. I'm honest. And something that he doesn't want to be put in a box. He doesn't yeah. want to be put see, in the heartthrob box. See, I'm happy to position myself we're... in a heartthrob. <laughs> box. Really, yeah. Yeah, you like I'm very, to be. I'm very comfortable with my. Anyone sex wants symbol to status. put you in a heartthrob box? That's that's their problem. People would like to put me in a box, but it would be one about eight feet under the ground. <laughs> I don't have heartthrob. Would be written on top. <laughs> Here lies Piers Morgan. Good. <laughs> No, we've managed to sort of... I've always said the minute our audience looks the same, we're probably going to stop, and that's something we're... I've also got to thank the support we've had from radio is a very sort of varied support. People have discovered my music in different ways. Mm. We've never had a hit single, um, right. and that's something I've kind of become proud of. It seems very odd to us that if you've written a whole load of music when you're young, that someone else could get their hands on it. Can you just explain how... You know, how the important ins and outs, that the is. legal side of this thing. Yeah, I'd well, love to explain it. I don't really want to get into the issue of theirs. No, no, that's I don't fair know enough. About but it, what so. about for you? I mean, if somebody else got their hands on your, your what you'd produce when you were yeah, younger. Yeah, I mean, there's two sides to this coin because I've, of course, had this similar experiences myself when right. you're starting. And you have to understand people do take chances on you when you start out. People do invest in you when you don't have mm. any value to your art. And then your art suddenly does become valuable. And this debate usually only happens when value is given to the art. You don't really, mm. this doesn't really happen otherwise. So it's tough. There's two sides to this story. Mm. I think, you know, some people have these stories seem to pop out always just before they put out an album. Right. Others don't. So I think there's a lot more to this. Yeah. Well, Richard it. Arnold said even in her post, mm. she she plugged her album at, at yeah, the bottom of I, it. Yeah, these are two people that know what they're doing. And I don't think this is a sort of... I don't think it's by accident that we're talking about right. this one. No, I yeah, totally agree. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree. Jack, it's good to see you. Thank you very uh, much. Congratulations on your Thank success. You. And I'm not talking yeah. about the music, <laughs> I'm talking about Trump Parade. <laughs> and how important do you think? Because I gave a, a, a pre game speech to the team uh, quoting Winston Churchill having just been to the Churchill War Rooms. How inspirational did you find that speech? My favourite part of your speech. Please was, tell me you were in the toilet no, at the time. No, he turned and you to all of us it. and said, just so you know, I'm a very influential man. And if you guys win this game, I will change your career. <laughs> and so far, he's stuck to his word. He's invited me on the show. You see? You see? Would he have ever got anywhere near this show if he hadn't helped me win soccer? I don't think sinister. so. Man. That I don't... is I, no. vaguely sinister. No, it was vaguely empowering. Yeah. Look, look where he's sitting. Look where we are today. Exactly. We've got him on Good Morning Britain. This has been a great couple yeah. of weeks for Jack Sanford <laughs> since he met me. Right, Jack? It's been a good couple Thank of you. weeks. I'll, put it I'll definitely say that. It's been a great couple of weeks. You're not sure about this. I'm, by the way, I'm just a little bit scared of you right I've now. I've just noticed, by the way, the alarming resemblance between you and our 
platform manager today. Oh, Ian. Yes, that's, got... a very, that's a yeah, good Ian, point. come in. Ian, come in. <laughs> Separated at birth. My long yeah, lost brother. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, you're right. yeah. Can you sing or not? No, no, no. No? Can you no. play football? No, but I can't yeah, do what football. he does. Yeah. Jack, can you floor manage? <laughs> I can't floor manage at all. So <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> fantastic to meet you.